नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्मविद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो शिषिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्यः सर्वोपपनोदित प्रज्ञानघन प्रत्यगर्थो ब्रह्मैवाहमस्मि ब्रह्मैवाहमस्मि नारायणं पद्मभौम वशिष्ठं शक्तिं च तत्पुत्र पराशरं च व्यासं शुकं गौडपदं महान्तं गोविन्दयोगेन्द्र मथासि शिष्यं श्री शंकराचार्य मथासि पद्मपादं च हस्तामलकं च शिष्यं तन्तोटकं वाचिकारमन्यानस्मद्गुरुं सन्ततमानतोस्मि श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणानामालेन करुणालेन नमाय भगवत्पादं शंकरं लोकशंकरं शंकरं शंकराचार्यं केशवं बादरायणं सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवन्त पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मीति मूर्तिभेद विभागिने व्योमवद्व्याप्तदेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओं सह नवत सह नौ भुनक्त सह वीरवाहे तेजस्वीनावती तमस्तमा विदुषा वहे ओं शातशातिनायांतकसंसिम आदिमध्यावर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to mention one thing about uh, the pratyaya. Yesterday, pratyaya and prakruti. So initially, it may have added to some confusion because I made a mistake of uh, thinking of pratyaya when I was talking about prakruti, which is nyadhatu and Ichha is the pratyaya. Ichha artha san pratyaya. So somebody said that the uh, this thing wasn't clear. The uh, prakruti wasn't clear. Meaning the uh, how the lakshana applies to prakruti wasn't clear as to what meaning. So uh, let me just go back to that part and just clarify that thing. For some reason my uh, PDF isn't moving. Okay. So here we looked at the atra prakritya phali bhutam brahma aparoksh jnanam ajal lakshana lakshanaya kathyate so here there was a doubt about uh, one is phali bhutam and this prakritya brahma aparoksh jnanam this uh, through ajal lakshana so without dropping the meaning of jnana the phala is taken as the jnana which is a phala rupa meaning the vritti akhandakara vritti which takes अवे अविद्या नॉट अ सिंगल अखंडकार वृत्ति एंड अखंडकार वृत्ति वंस मे नॉट टेक अवे अविद्या कंप्लीटली सो दैट ज्ञान वृत्ति शुड बी स्ट्रांग इनफ टू काउंटर दी अज्ञान विच हैज बिकम वीक थ्रू साधना इफ दी अज्ञान इज नॉट वीक देन दी ज्ञान वृत्ति अखंडकार वृत्ति cannot take away ajnana complete in the first instance therefore elsewhere it is mentioned as to pravaha has to be maintained that is what is nididhyasana where aparoksha jnana which is basically doubtless knowledge that has taken place but even without doubts the samskaras are so strong that it is not once in a while viparita bhavana but a person continues to be in संसार द वे ही वॉज अर्लियर ही और शी वॉज अर्लियर विदाउट एनी चेंज देन दिस अपरोक्ष ज्ञान एपियर्स टू बी परोक्ष ऑल दो इट मे बी वर्किंग बट इट सीम्स एज इफ इट इज नॉट वर्किंग एट ऑल और वन मे थिंक दैट ओके एवरी थिंग इज डन एंड वन मे हैव अ ज्ञाना भाषा एज टू आई एम अ ज्ञानी सो हाउ लॉन्ग शुड इट बी डन सो इट इट कम अप लेटर ऑल्सो दैट Uh, it is basically avagati paryantam jnanam that is the brahma aparoksha jnanam meant here generally that's how it is used because vedanta is not meant for gate crashers in orthodoxy it is meant for those who have sadhana chatushte sampan sampatti sampurna to a great extent that is how the shastra is here also you see sadhana chatushte sampannasya adhikarana sampanna this ta pratya here sampurvaka padhatu as a ta pratya which is bhute meaning it has been done you don't have to revisit it so much except for uparati which is sanyasa those kind of adhikaris who are 
you know uttama or madhyam adhikaris they can have you know very little nididhyasana and still shravana will work into avidya nivritti so here prakritya jnanam the reason i am saying is that brahma paroksha jnanam has been mentioned the phala in phala there can be some kind of a vidhi as to try to attain this that's how it will mean so when the phali bhutam here is this tri pratyanta tadhita tri pratyanta phali phalam uh, aphalam phalam bhavati iti phali bhutam so bhu kru or as dhatu is added with tri pratya to a word tri pratya is added to a, uh, a pada which uh, pratyay going away supratyay going it will appear as though it is added to a pratipadika so aphalam what is not a phala make that a phala for yourself so kru dhatu can also be seen here phali krutam as so there is a vyakarana sutra it says uh, i think uh, kru bhasti yoga so kru bhasti yoga is what brings in this tri pratyay with a kru dhatu bhu dhatu or as dhatu you can get a tri pratyay which says what wasn't there abhuta tad bhave what wasn't there is made to come into existence or it comes into existence here if it is a vidhi then you make that to come into existence so how do you make brahma paroksha jnana to come into existence and this is unlike saying that you see the red flower as blue this is not like that that is not possible so what the siddhanti says is that this is a phali bhuta jnana so you see as red how do you see as red you are not seeing the flower try to see the flower there the vidhi can be there meaning you look at the flower so you look at moksha as the purushartha which is possible through brahma paroksha jnana which is generated jnana it is not chidatmaka jnana chid roopa swaroopa jnana is ever there that is the satyam jnana manantam jnana that is not what is meant what is meant is that know your swarupa which is jnana swarupa and that can be known through jnana vritti taking place so for that what has to be done there the vidhi will apply therefore aphalam phalam bhavati iti phali bhutam what is that brahma paroksha jnanam which is not a phala for you yet make it a phala focus there focus your entire life towards that that is where the vidhi is and therefore the means sadhana of this brahma paroksha jnana will have the vidhi so prakriti which was jnana that is taken as phali bhutam jnana and therefore the resultant brahma paroksha jnana vritti which will take away avidya that kind of a vritti has to be brought in and for that whatever is the sadhana that will be the vidhi towards towards that there will be vidhi so upper brahma paroksha jnana is possible <coughs> only through shravana mananidhi dhyasana which is vicharatmaka therefore ichha sadhya vicharaha through jhal lakshana what you get there is the vidhi and thereby what we saw in the end is that moksha has to be attained therefore moksha sadhana which is aparoksha jnana aparoksha jnana is the moksha sadhana for aparoksha jnana vedanta vakya vichara is the sadhana and in vedanta vakya vichara there is vidhi kartavya there is kartavya so vichara kartavya is the final meaning moving on for some reason today the um, pdf is acting funny i can't uh, if i do a some key may be stuck i have this problem with the keyboard so if i try to scroll it minimizes itself okay let me try anyway so we looked at nacha loka siddha bhinnartha katvad ek brahma lakshanatva prasiddhir iti sampratam satyaadi padanam akhandarthatvena ek brahma parevasaitaya lakshanatva sambhavat the siddhanti refuted the puro paksha as to lakshana abhava brahma lakshana abhava is there there is no lakshana there is no definition given for brahma so tatastha lakshana which was given in the sutra janmadyasya taha by taking the shruti such as 
यतो वायुमानी भूतानी जायंते तज्जलान इत्यादि वेरे वर दे सृष्टि सृष्टि एंड लया मेंशन और टॉकिंग अबाउट सृष्टि लया विल आल्सो गेट इंक्लूडेड और इफ एनी ऑफ दीज इज टॉक्ड अबाउट ऑल थ्री विल कम एज अ ग्रुप सो दोस वाक्यास आर विषया एंड दे आर द लक्षण ऑफ ब्रह्म वेरे वर दी प्रपंच कम्स अबाउट फ्रॉम दी अपादान अपादाने पंचमी सो यतो यस्मात फ्रॉम विच देयर इज उत्पत्ति ऑफ जगत सस्टेनेंस एंड देयर इज आल्सो भंग दैट इज ब्रह्म देयर दी पूर्व पक्षी सेज दैट इज जगत लक्षण बिकॉज़ इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट जगत उत्पत्ति नॉट ब्रह्म उत्पत्ति सो उत्पत्त्यादि विल बिकम गुण धर्म ऑफ जगत एंड देयरफॉर इट कैन बी जगत लक्षण बट नॉट it can be jagal lakshana but not brahma lakshana and he said that you should not say satyam jnanam anantam brahma satyam jnanam anantam brahma that is a lakshana that is also not a lakshana because satyadi satyam jnanam and ananta do not have same meaning in the loka the refutation is loka siddha bhinnartaka tvad ek brahma lakshanatva aprasiddhi iti nacha sampratam this is not right this objection is not right because the satyadi padas in the loka are not what we are talking about we we are talking about a meaning which has to be analyzed just because you know some meaning in the world vedanta words will not make sense in the same manner it has to be analyzed mimamsa has to be done and as a puro mimamsaka you will have studied mimamsa how to do analysis similarly that has to be extended here and when you analyze you see satya word bhagwan bhashyakara says under the taitriya mantra there satyam jnana manantam why is satya mentioned because everything that has been seen is a karya everything that you see is a karya even a karana is a karya if you look at ghata ghata is a karya it has been made if it has been made then what is its karana that is mrit the clay the clay pot you are looking at a clay pot pot so pot is made out of clay pot goes away in time is this brahma similar no it is that which exists in all three periods of time therefore satya word is been has been used so satya means trikala vaditam satyam sadeva satyam so sadeva satyam sat means trikala abadita and sat and satyam are interchangeable so that is what satyam means satyam means sat so what does it mean karya ghata will go in time but clay will remain so from karya one has to have karana buddhi from karya vichara one should shift the focus towards karana and this has to be done with each and every thing in the prapancha then what you land on which is karana rahita which itself does not have a karana and therefore it is not a karya that is brahma so yad asti tad brahma if you say ghata asti pata asti loka asti jagad asti that asti astitvam is what is brahma what exists is brahma whatever in the world exists that is brahma this is what is meant by satya in the lakshana then puro pakshi says but jnana does not mean the same thing oh yes it means it means the it has something that will land into culmination of the definition in brahma how so it is not a visheshana in that sense so satyam takes away the karya buddhi meaning something that will wither away in time is not what brahma is so if you say oh ghata asti then astitvam belongs to ghata that is not right why so because astitva does not belong to ghata it is borrowed from its karana even when the pot is a pot it is a clay pot is a pot ghata it is always mrut it is never separate from its karana it exists because of its karana you take away clay then the pot won't remain in the ornaments in necklaces and uh, bangles and rings and what not if you take away gold then nothing will remain 
So the karya has dependency on karana. Karana alone exists, therefore, karya buddhi goes away, meaning a destructive karya or the karya which will come to an end. Nasha will take place. That kind of a karya cannot be Brahma. So astitva does not belong to karya, it belongs to its karana. And that karana, finally, which is without any karana which is independent, which has independent existence, that itself is Sad Brahma. That itself is Sat and that is Brahma. But then nobody has seen a karana also which is Chaitanya. Upadana karana, material cause. So the Siddhanti says, Jnanam Padam does not mean this Jnana that you have in your mind, the knowledge which takes place in your mind, what Jnana here means, it is Chit, Chaitanya. That which makes sentience possible, that which makes the insentient appear as though sentient. So when Sat is understood, Satyam is understood, someone may think that, okay, this is Karana, but Karana is like clay, it is Jada. So, Jadatva Buddhi should go away. First, Karya Buddhi is taken away. Now, Jadatva Buddhi is taken away. So, that Karana which is not Jada, that is Brahma. So, Chaitanya. Chit is the Lakshartha, not Lakshartha, it is a Swarupa. But, how do you land on that? So, Bhagavan Bhashyakara does an analysis there as to Jnanam. In fact, in Satyam Jnanam Anantam Bhashya, Satyam Jnanam and Anantam are analyzed. Having analyzed that, he goes back to Jnanam again. Because there is something else left to be said. Because Jnana is, is a word derived from Jnadhatu with a Lut Pratya. Your Anako, Lut will be replaced by Ana and then you will get Jnana plus Ana which is Jnana. Now this Jnana Shabda can be, Lut can be Akarta Richa Kareke Sanyayam. So other than Karta it can have any meaning. So Bhagavan and generally it is seen in Karne Adhikarne Bhave. So, Bhagavan Bhashyakara says this means Nyapti, Nyaptir Jnanam. Nyapti means the, with thin pratyanta, it's, he says Bhave, Bhave Vyutpati, Jnana is Bhave Vyutpati. It means just Shuddha Dhatvartha, to know, knowing. That knowing, it does not mean knowledge which is a produce, it means no, knowing. So, when you say knowing is the meaning, then knowing what? To know what? That question pops up, can pop up. This is a Puro Paksha. Puro Paksha says, Nya. even if you say it is Dhatu Artha, still the Dhatu, being Sakarmaka Dhatu, it has an expectancy of Karma. So the Karma for Nya will remain separate from Nya Dhatu and therefore this Jnana Brahma, if you say, you will have something separate from it. So there Bhagavan Bhashyakara, this is all that we can go up to. Therefore, at this stage, you have to drop the karma also. It is not exactly bhave vyutpatti also. It is not bhava sadhana. But what is it? He says, finally, what it means is that which can never take a karma because there is nothing other than it. That is the meaning there. Therefore, ananta also will drive home the point. It is that limitless one without a second and thereby jnana will culminate into chit. Therefore, the meaning of Satyam is Sat, Jnanam is Chit and it is Ananta, it is without limitations. It has nothing else, it cannot take any karma. So, there, it is that which is free from the three Parichedas. The Vastu Paricheda, Kala and Desha. Desha, Desha Kala, Vastu Paricheda, Rahitam, Brahma is meant by Ananta. And finally, all these three will have the same meaning because Sad Brahma is Chid Brahma and it is an Ananta Chaitanya. That Sat is also Ananta, Chit is also Ananta. There is no second Chit, there is no second Sat. So wherever you see Satya, existence of anything, that existence belongs to Brahma, that is due to Brahma. Brahma is of the Swarupa of Sat. And is it Jada? No, it is not Jada. It is Chaitanya. It is Chaitanya itself. It is not with Chaitanya as a Guna. 
सो दैट चिद वस्तु ई सद वस्तु एंड सत एंड चित इफ दे आर लिमिटेड देन देर कैन बी सम अदर चित सम अदर अचित ऑल्सो देर कैन बी सम अदर सत और असद वस्तु देर इज नथिंग अदर देन ब्रह्म टू टॉक अबाउट दैट कैंड ऑफ अ ब्रह्म टू डिफाइन ब्रह्म विच इज वन विदाउट अ सेकेंड अनंत पदा इज ऑल्सो देर फाइनली इट विल ऑल्सो कलमिनेट इन टू आनंद बट विल सी दैट सम अदर टाइम सो सचिद आनंद टॉक्ड अबउट एलवेर एज अ लक्षण इज दि सत्यम ज्ञानम अनंतम इन दि तैतरीय मंता मंत्र एज दि स्वरूप लक्षण ऑफ ब्रह्म देर बाय सत्यादि पदान अखंडार्थत्व दे विल फाइनली पॉइंट अबउट टू दैट वेर देर इज नो खंड देर इज नो डिविजन सो इट इज वन ब्रह्म विच इज टॉक्ड अबउट बाय थ्री पदास बिकॉज दिस थ्री पदास टेक अवे अ पर्टिक्युलर नोशन विच इज पॉसिबल इन दि लोक सो वॉट यू आर सेंग लोक सिद्ध भिन्नाथ दैट इज एक्साक्टली वॉट हेज टू बी टेकन अवे देर फॉर सत्यम ज्ञानम अनंतम आर इन सामनाधिकरण्यम फॉर ब्रह्म सो सिद्धांत इज सेंग दैट दिस इज युअर मिसकनसेप्शन एंड द मंत्रा इज डूइंग एक्साक्टली दैट इट इज टेकिंग युअर मिसकनसेप्शन द प्रोसेस इज बाय नीति नीति वॉट एवर यू आर एबल टू ऑब्जेक्टिफाई थ्रू एनी मीन्स एनी प्रमाण दैट इज नॉट ब्रह्म what is being said is that the one who is analyzing one who is objectifying one who is trying to objectify is brahma who can never be objectified he is the subject when looking at an object but there is nothing other than him that he or she gender is also be dropped in the end because the sharira sharira traya viveka will also take place finally what you land on is one who is existent who cannot be denied when you do neti neti not karya not this karana i am not this prapancha i am not this sharira finally that which cannot be denied is brahma that is an existent thing the only thing you can really say is that you are existent nothing else can be said as real you can make statements you can say i am speaking the truth but the fact is that nothing other than you in swarupa can be said to be existent but you cannot be denied existence by anyone there is absolutely no pramana that can take away your existence so i who am actually analyzing and seeing this prapancha when i start thinking about it sapnavad mithya all this prapancha <coughs> including my sharira all the people whether i love them or hate them whether they are friends or enemies whether they are related to me or i have not even heard about them whether you know i see them and uh, idolize them all those are present even in the swapna prapancha in the swapna prapancha i was existent who am who i am existent now also i am existing the way i was existent in the swapna also but the swapna prapancha was as real as this world is real during the swapna but it is not there now it is badita but i am one who is not badita all the people birds friends surya chandra ityadi all of them are negated when i wake up from swapna but i am not negated similarly in jagrat avastha also you cannot make a conclusion De- a definite conclusion about anything other than yourself other than aham i am existent therefore sad will apply to your own swarupa and i am existent conscious entity so i am not only a, an existent entity i am a conscious entity and there are no two different things there are two enti- there are not two entities one existent i and one non existent but sentient i there are no such two things there are no, no such two eyes aham is one which is existent as well as conscious so it is akhandartha and was i there in sushupti because i have pratyabhijna 
that I am the same person who slept. Therefore, I was present in Sushupti in deep sleep also. So the one who has Anurutti, I who am having Anurutti in Jagra Swapna Sushupti, is a single entity, Ananta Tattva, who is existent conscious entity. Therefore, it is Akhandartha. And that is what Brahma is. Brahma is finally Atma. So, Eka Brahma Paryavasaitaya, concluding in that single Brahma, not multiple Brahmas, one as Sad Brahma, the other Chit Brahma and uh, Jnana Brahma and third as Ananta Brahma. That is not what is meant. It is a single Brahma, which each of the words taking away a misconception regarding something that you understand by the word or something that you think that the word opposes. Therefore, Satyam Jnanam Anantam is definitely a Swarupa Lakshana. Therefore, Lakshanatva Sambhavat Heto Ho. Since Lakshana of Brahma is given in the Shruti, it is nowhere to be found elsewhere. Shruti being the Pramana for Brahma and Brahma Aikya also with Atma. In the end, that's what the Vedanti will conclude. Therefore, what? This inquiry is possible. That Shanka which came away from, came from the first Adhikarana, Jinyasa Adhikarana, has been taken away because Lakshana is not possible, Jinyasa is not possible. Lakshana is possible for Brahma, therefore Jinyasa is definitely possible, not only possible, it is a Vidhi, you should do it for Moksha. This is the second Sutra. Further, uh, just let me look up... Um, Yeah, so further, in the uh, before we go to the third Adhikarana, which is also a single sutra, Shastra Yonitva Adhikarana, there is uh, a certain thing that has to be looked at as to the Brahma as Jagat Karana is brought about by the Sutra Kara using the Yato Vaimani Bhutani Ityadi Mantras, Vedanta Vakyas. Now, Purva Pakshi says, why do you need Shruti to bring about Jagat Karanatvam? As in, why do you need Shruti to tell you that there is a Jagat Karana who is Ishwara? We call him as Ishwara. Saguna Brahma. Brahma who takes the guna of Tatastha Lakshana. Through Tatastha Lakshana, he takes the guna of the creator, sustainer and dissolver or resolver. So, one who manifests, sustains and unmanifests the prapancha is Brahma, that is Ishwara. The Nayaika says you can land on Ishwara through Tarka and when other Pramana works, Shruti is no longer a Pramana for Ishwara as Jagat Karana. You don't need. Why do you need to go to Shruti? Why do you go thus far when Tarka itself can bring about Ishwara is the karta of this prapancha. So he gives tarka. Shityankura adhikam kartrujanyam karyatvat ghatavat. So he says ghata is a product I have seen in the prapancha. No, no product can be without its cause. So being a karya, karana is definitely there. And there is a karta also for that. There is a material cause also for that. So kartrujanya definitely ghata is kartrujanya. It has been made by someone. So, there is a karana. There is a definitely a karana. Therefore, you extend this ghata as karya to everything that is karya. This prapancha, entire prapancha. Chityankuradikam. All these saplings. So, so, starting from the smallest to the biggest entity. The entire prapancha is kartrujanya. Why? Because it is karya. Karyatvat is the hetu. Because it is a produce, there has to be a creator, there has to be a cause and therefore Ishwara is established by Tarka, you don't need Shruti, Shabda Pramana is not necessary. This is the argument the Tarkika gives. So this is Siddhanti says, okay, let's say that you have made a Tarka, I agree that this Tarka is possible. Because nobody thinks that the Ghatta came on its own. Somebody must have made the ghata. Similarly, prapancha will not have come on its own. 
somebody is the creator no means it has to be created says now you look at a palace prasad adi so you look at a huge palace or you know in modern world you look at huge buildings is there a single creator there are so many creators there are so many workers working laborers are there there is a there is there are so many managers of them there are so many uh, you know spot inspectors there are there's an architect so many people are involved for a single multi story building or a single story building with so many rooms you need so many workers a single person cannot build it there is not a single karana but there are multiple karanas so how do you conclude as the siddhanti vedanti to tarkika how do you know that that jagat karana is single because this prapancha is so huge how can one entity have created this how can one entity be the karana so your tarka is not possible there so even if he says laghavat ekah ishvara jagat karanam ekah why laghava because it is it is you know by occam's razor by the law of parsimony why complicated assume it to be one you cannot assume it to be one by tarka you cannot why because you need a pratyaksha pramana show me something which even has you know three rooms show me one person has created it and even if you show that across many years one person created a huge palace i, I have a counter to it multiple people are there involved in so many uh, in bringing its karana all the products that have been used by the single person to make the huge pa- palace there are many so you cannot conclude it as one therefore shruti is a pramana for ishvara and when shruti is a pramana which says there is one ishvara then shruti alone will become pramana for jagat karanatvam there is no way that you can land on it through tarka or any other pramana so shruti is pramana this is where the second sutra finds its meaning it is purposeful by using yato vaimani bhutani as examples and doing vichara on them and showing that they have swartha earlier we have seen swartha so swartha means they have their own meaning they are not arthavada the puro pakshi being puro mimamsaka so the puro mimamsaka will say it is all arthavada because it has no use in karma we'll come to that further it will be repeated in multiple times it will come up we'll look at it then so third adhikarana and the sutra is introduced by saying nanu itham brahmano jagat karanatvena sarvajnyatvam arthad abhani what was said by you says the purva pakshi nanu itham brahmana jagat karanatvena sarvajnyatvam arthad abhani what you have said is that brahma is jagat karana so jagat karanatvena through that what is the implied meaning there when you say ishvara is jagat karana brahma is jagat karana then this prapancha includes everything everything objectifiable is included the universe ever expanding universe as known in modern science that entire universe ever expanding universe is created the cause for all that instead of saying creator the cause for all that is ishvara brahma this is what you have stated says the puro pakshi now what is the implication of that the ghata is created by the the potter the potter makes the pot so the pot maker kulala knows what kind of a ghata he has to create before he creates the pot so he has to have some you know the uh, some blueprint of the ghata that is creating an architect also when he is creating a palace if you say finally the architect is one who has put together how it should come out he has gnana of how it has to be done if there are 10 people who are doing their work in the palace also they know what has to be done they before doing it they know what has to be done so it is all buddhi purvaka karma 
this jagat srishti also has to be buddhi purvaka it should be buddhi purvika srishti anyone who create something he should have knowledge about that so the ish this brahma ishwara who is creating this entire prapancha manifesting this entire prapancha he should have knowledge about everything so prapancha is sarva and ishwara is jagat karana prapancha karana therefore he is sarva karana being sarva karana being jagat karana he should have he should be jagatnya he should have knowledge about prapancha gnya he should know prapancha how the blueprint of prapancha before he creates the prapancha therefore prapancha being everything sarva he should be sarvajnya this is the implication of your statement of the earlier adhikarana you know itham in this manner brahmana jagat karanatvena by establishing brahma as jagat karana sarvajnyatvam arthad abhani what has been implied by you is brahma is sarvajnya so brahma does not only have jagat karanatva he also has sarvajnyatva without having sarvajnyatva he cannot be sarva karana jagat karana and what is that that is tad aramaniyam that kind of an implication is improper it it does not seem right to me it is distasteful that's what literally is saying it is distasteful meaning it is not logical why because prapancha jagat being sarva it includes vedas also since it includes vedas now vedas are created by ishwara that is what it will end up meaning and purva mimamsaka says vedas are nitya how can ishwara create nitya vedas therefore he cannot be sarvajnya vedas have vedas are vast body of knowledge they so being such a vast body of knowledge which is nitya ishwara cannot be sarvajnya by creating vedas he cannot be sarvajnya because vedas are nitya they are not created even by ishwara if they are not created by ishwara he cannot be said to be sarvajnya he can be said to be having all knowledge except for what is there in the vedas this is what is the argument given by the puro pakshi so he wants to take away he is not the sarvajnyatvam from ishwara which is implied meaning and thereby he will also take away jagat karanatvam because he is not veda karana if he is not veda karana then he is not jagat karana because jagat will include vedas which we as we see this is what the puro pakshi's mind is in vedasya nityatvena jagat karanatva ayoga so since vedas are nitya vedas being part of jagat now he cannot be jagat karana ishwara brahma cannot be jagat jagat karanatva ayogat iti akshipya ah so shastra yonitva adhikaranam sutra is shastra yonitvat shastra yonitvat this sutra is having a single word shastra yonitvat so akshipya means making this akshepa objecting to the earlier adhikarana in this manner puro pakshi is answered in this sutra no shastra yonitvat this sutra is interpreted in two manners one is a tatpurusha other is bahuri so shastra yoni shastra yoni word is interpreted as a tatpurusha by saying shastrasya yoni hi shastra yoni hi तस्य भाव शास्त्र योनित्वम तस्मात् शास्त्र योनित्वा अनदर वे टू लुक एट इट इज शास्त्रम योनि हि यस्य तस्य भाव शास्त्र योनित्वम तस्मात् शास्त्र योनित्वा दिस हेतु नाउ हियर शास्त्र इन द फर्स्ट इंटरप्रिटेशन व्हिच विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ प्रथम वर्णक देयर षष्टी मीनिंग इज टेकन एज टू व्हाट शास्त्रस्य योनि योनि मींस कारण योनि मींस द कॉज So, Shastra is Vedas. 
सो वे वेदा नाम योनि है और वेदस्य एज अ सिंगल यूनिट जातो एक वचनम सो वेदस्य योनि ही योनि मींस कारणम बीइंग द कारण ऑफ वेदास आल्सो सो वेदास आर नित्य दैट यू आर सेइंग वी विल एक्सप्लेन दैट ही सेज वी विल एक्सप्लेन व्हाट दैट मींस हाउ डू यू लैंड ऑन दैट मीनिंग वी विल एनालाइज दैट देयर मे बी अनदर सेंटेंस देयर आई थिंक आई डिलीटेड दैट परहैप्स देयर वाज अ सेंटेंस देयर मे बी लेटर देयर वाज सम एडिट एरर देयर so uh, not an edit error uh, my notes were there i think some notes uh, were there maybe here or a little later so if you have an additional line with a bullet most of if i have added notes then it will be a bullet point that bullet point is not part of the uh, book so it is you know there in error okay so shastras yoni vedasya yoni hi brahma is what yoni so brahma has anurutti here the फर्स्ट इंटरप्रिटेशन इज शास्त्र से योनिवाद कारण ब्रह्मण सर्वज्ञत्व सर्वज्ञत्व एंड देर बाय जगत कारण इज एस्टाब्लिश बिकॉज जग इफ यू टेक अवे सर्वज्ञत्व जगत कारण कैन बी टेकन अवे बाय दी पूर्व पक्षी दैट इज इज इंटेंशन ही सेज ब्रह्म इज नॉट वेद कारण बिकॉज वेद आर नित्य देर फोर इज नॉट सर्वज्ञ एंड ही इज नॉट जगत कारण ब्रह्म इज नॉट जगत कारण ईश्वर इज नॉट जगत कारण बाय एस्टाब्लिशिंग शास्त्र से योनि ही it will be established how we'll see but the statement made is no shastras yoni ishwara is the shastras yoni vedas karana here yoni is karana and therefore what sarvajnyatvam is established and thereby jagat karanatvam you go back to adikarana so you will get jagat karanatvam also asya purva adikaranena akshapi akshepiki sangati hi takshepa vise iti akshepya so sangati is this akshepa made What is the phala of the sutra? Phalam tu purva pakshi brahmana sarvajnyatva anirdharanam. Purva pakshi with this akshepa purva pakshi is saying what is the end result of my objection if you cannot prove it. He says brahmana sarvajnyatva anirdharanam. You cannot establish brahma as sarvajnya, which is the implied meaning of jagat karanatvam for brahma of brahma. सिद्धांत तनिर्धारण तन तत्व सर्वज्ञत्व सो सर्वज्ञत्व इज एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन द सूत्र एज अ फल पूर्व पक्षी सेज दैट इफ यू डोंट प्रूव इट देन सर्वज्ञत्व अनिर्धारण सर्वज्ञत्व इज नॉट एस्टाब्लिश्ड एंड देर फोर ब्रह्म इज नॉट सर्वज्ञ नॉट जगत कारण इति द्रष्टव्य सो यू शुड सी दिस भेद इन दि फल टू टू यू नो टॉक अबाउट वॉट दि अधिकारण कंटेन्स फल इज ऑलसो वन पार्ट ऑफ दी पंचांग ऑफ दी अधिकरण अस्य महतो भूत निश्वसितम एव एतद ऋग्वेद इत्यादि वाक्यम विषय सो बृहद मंत्र इज दे विच से दट अस्य महतो भूत ऑफ दिस ह्यूज बीइंग हु इज दट दिस पुरुष परम पुरुष ईश्वर निश्वसितम एव एतद ऋग्वेद so the sugveda ityadi vedas are what nishvasitam or his breath vedas are the breath of ishwara says the brahat mantra ityadi vakyam and there are such similar statements elsewhere tad brahmano veda kartrutvena sarvajnyatvam na sadhayati uta sadhayati iti sandeh so what is the vishaya there what is the sandeh the doubt is that whether this vakya this vakya is a vishaya when you analyze this statement what is the conclusion breath of ishwara rigveda vedas are the breath of ishwara so the doubt is whether tat brahmana veda kartrutvena sarvajnyatvam sadhayati va na va whether it establishes brahma as ishwara as sarvajnya by being a veda karta or does not so puro pakshi is saying it as his breath ishwara's breath he didn't create his own breath you don't create your own breath you are born with the breath therefore i mean some some kind of an analysis done by the puro pakshi there he says that ishwara's breath if vedas are ishwara's breath vedas are nitya they have come along with ishwara breath has come along with ishwara prana something like that and then he says देर फोर वेद कर्तृत्व सर्वज्ञत्व न साधे इज दि पूर्वपक्ष 
Siddhanti says, Sadayati. They establish Sarvajnyatvam by showing Ishwara as Vedakarta. If, we, if Ishwara is established as Vedakarta, uh, as Jagatkarta, Vedas being a part and Vedakarta, then Sarvajnyatvam is established. Puro Pakshi says, no, there is another mantra which will counter that. Vacha virupa nityaya iti vedasya nityatva shravana tat kartrutvena sarvajnyatvam na sadeti iti Puro Pakshi. Puro Pakshi quotes a Rig mantra. So the Rig mantra is, Vacha virupa nityaya tasmai nunam abhidyave vacha virupa nityaya vrishne chodasva sushtitim so there is sushtutim. Sushtutim is suhstutim. Chodasva. So it's a, it said that do this stuti. What is the stuti there? He virupa. He virupa. This nana rupa etan namaka maharshi. There is a maharshi. This, so he virupa. Tvam chodasva. Tvam tasmai. He says this vacha. You praise. You, sushtutim means you do a sushtu stuti. So it is said you do a sushtu stuti. How do you do this stuti? By using what? Using these Vedas. What are those? These mantra rupa, mantra rupa vacha. Vacha hevi rupa nityaya vacha. This vacha has, vacha, vach is, vak is thrilinga. Vacha is tritya. Karane Tritya, Vacha, through the Vak. Using Vak, using Veda mantras, you praise. So that is the focus. Rest of the mantra is not necessary. But Nitya is the Visheshana. Through what kind of a Vak? Through Nitya Vak. Through Nitya Veda mantra, you praise. That is a Rig mantra. So this Nitya Visheshana cannot be taken away, says the Puro Pakshi. And if you Say that Veda, Vak is Nitya, Vedas are Nitya, therefore Brahma cannot be Veda Karta. Iti Vedasya Nityatva Sharvana, since you have heard Vak, which means Vedas, as Nitya in that mantra, Rug mantra, Tat Kartrutvena, Sarvajnyatvam na sa, Tat Kartrutvena means Veda Kartrutvena, Veda Kartrutvam nasti, Brahmana Veda Kartrutvam nasti, Iti Heto Sarvajnyatvam api nasti. Na sambhavati. Therefore, na sadhayati iti puro paksha. You cannot establish sarvajnyatam by using tat kartrutam, veda kartrutam of Brahma because Vedas are nitya and therefore you cannot have karta for Vedas. Vedas are not karya. Iti puro paksha. Siddhantastu. Siddhanti says shastrasya yonihi. So he answers shastrasya yonitvat. Shastrasya meaning rugveda dehe sarvajnya kalpasya. The Shastra, which is Rugvedadi. Rugvedadi is part of Shastra. All Shastras, all the Vedas. Sarvajnya Kalpasya, which is what? Rugvedas are so vast, they are themselves equivalent to having almost all knowledge. I mean, lost in this Sampradaya now, it has all attacked and destroyed by many. Written word is destroyed and it is not committed to memory anymore. Not much is left to commit to memory and even in that, even Swashaka Adhyana has almost vanished. Almost. So Sarvajnya Kalpasya. This Kalpa, Kalpa Pratyay is added. So Sarvajnya Kalpasya means it is Shastrasya, Shastra which is Sarvajnya Kalpa. Sarvajnya Kalpa is Sarvajnya Tulyam. Kalpa has meaning of Tulyam. Meaning Kalpa Pratya actually it is uh, used for Ishat Samapti. Ishap Samaptau Kalpam Deshya Deshi Yaraha. Paninya Sutra gives Kalpap Deshya and Deshi Yara Pratyas, Deshi Yara Pratyas for Ishad Asamaptau. Ishad Asamaptau. Ishad. You know, little is left. Something is different. When something is different, then only there will be Tulyam. Otherwise, they will not be similar, they will be same. So, something is, which is similar to Sarvajna. That kind of a Shastra. Shastra Sirgveda Vedas, which have almost everything, that is the meaning. Tasya Yonihi, Shastra Sirgveda Yonihi, and Yoni means Karanam. 
तस्य भाव तत्व तत्व मीन्स कारण यूनित्व सो शास्त्र योनि शास्त्र योनित्व एंड देन तस्मा शास्त्र योनिवा ड्यू टू दैट वेद कर्तृकवा मीनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ बीइंग दी कारण ऑफ शास्त्र विच इज वेद बीइंग दी कर्ता ऑफ वेदा वेद कर्तृत्व सर्वज्ञत्व साधे इट एस्टाब्लिश सर्वज्ञत्व पूर्व बक्षी से यू कैन जस्ट यू नो गिव सूत्र एंड फिनिश इट ऑफ टेल मी वॉट अबाउट वाचा विरूप नित्य या वॉट अबाउट दैट मंत्र इट इज नित्य हाउ कैन यू से सर्वज्ञत्व साधे बिकॉज वेद कर्तृत्व इज सेल्फ इज नॉट एस्टाब्लिश विच इज दि हेतु फॉर सर्वज्ञत्व सो एस्टाब्लिश दिस हेतु वेद कर्तृत्व यू शुड एस्टाब्लिश बै शोइंग दैट वेद आज आर नॉट नित्य देर सिद्धांति से यदवादी पूर्ववादी ना वॉट वॉज सेट बै यू यू दि पूर्ववादी पूर्वपक्षी वेद से निवणादी तद साधु दैट इंटरप्रिटेशन इज नॉट रईट असाधु इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ वाचा विरूप नित्य यू आर टेकिंग थिंग्स लिटरली दैट्स नॉट द मीनिंग देर वॉट इज दैट अस् महत्वभूत दिस मंत्र विच एज गॉन बाय इन बृहत् विच एज इन दि गॉन बाय इन दि टेक्स्ट हियर अस् महत्वभूत निश्वसित ऋग्वेद इत्यादि वेदोत्पत्ति श्रुत्यनुरोधेन वेन दि श्रुति सेंग हियर दि इट इज वॉट इज मीनिंग हियर भगवान भाष्यकार अंडर दिस मंत्र सेज दैट इट इज दि वेद आर इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट इट इज अबाउट दि क्रिएशन देर सो वेन दि क्रिएशन ऑफ वेद आज हाउ दिज दि क्रिएशन द कंपेरिजन इज गिवन इट इज एज ईजी एज ब्रीदिंग you don't have to think to breathe that is the meaning there it is not literally the prana the way you do not have to think to breathe if you if you have to think and take an effort to breathe then you can't end up doing anything so bhagwan has been kind towards living beings for prana you don't have to do anything as much is your prarabdha so much prana will keep on ticking effortlessly it will keep on ticking of course i mean there can be diseases and all that which is also part of prarabdha and one may have trouble breathing we have to focus we have to do pranayama ityadi but prana goes on its own even when you are in sushupti otherwise nobody will go to sleep so what it means here is that it is as easy as breathing for ishwara to create this entire prapancha that is the meaning there it is not literally his breath so asya mahato bhutasya ityadi vedotpatti shruti anurodhena the shruti says that vedas are the produce of ishwara how so he recollects what it was there nityatvam is pravaha nityatvam there it is remanifest in the kalpa the way it was there in the earlier kalpa and that remanifestation is done by brahma ishwara he cannot do it without knowing how to do it he cannot bring about every ved mantra the way it was earlier unless he knows the ved mantras therefore he is वेद ज्ञाता ही इज वेद कर्ता इन ईच एंड एवरी कल्पा ही डज नॉट मॉडिफाई एनीथिंग बट ही रिकलेक्ट द वे इट वॉज सो निश्चित कैन ऑल्सो बी सेड इन दैट मैनर दैट इट इज रीमैनिफेस्ट इन द सेम मैनर इट वॉज देर इन दर्लियर कल्ता कल्पा देर फॉर वाचा विरूप नित्या विल ऑल्सो वर्क दी बृहद मंत्रा विल ऑल्सो वर्क एंड माय एजर्शन प्रूफ विल बी सिद्ध एज टू ishwara being vedakarta and thereby what nityatva shrute he arthavada paratva this nityatva means a praise it is as do nitya because it is remanifest the same way the way it was earlier otherwise it will have this this rig mantra and brahat mantra will have different meanings and then shruti cannot have opposition it appears to be contradictory it cannot have real contradiction so it has to be resolved and the only way to resolve is in this manner and thereby everything will fall in place the shruti talking about yato vaimani bhutani jayante will also stand established therefore veda kartrutvam of brahma is established and thereby sarvajnyatvam also nache vedasya sakartrukatve paurusheyatvam syati sampratam I already mentioned this by how the uh, vacha virupa nitya would be right as well as in arthavada here, but then it is also because there is pravaha nitya.
across kalpas it is nitya it is remade without any changes by ishwara therefore siddhanti says nacha vedasya sakartrukatve paurushyatvam syaditi sampratam puropakshi di puromimamsaka says that you vedantis are uttar mimamsaka you cannot give up the entire mimamsa you cannot say that shrutis are shruti vedas are paurushya ishwara created them therefore they are paurushya because in paurushya pramanatvam is questionable it should be an apta vakya vakya and paurushya means a produce of a purusha even ishwara the way we are we see the world so john de style sees the world yellow so we assume that you know human beings have flaws why is a text created any work anything that is done anything which is created one wants to claim one have wants to copyright it this is mine it may be for fame it can you know have some lies also so many flaws can be there in a paurushya work paurushya produce it is not perfect no way is it close to perfect so similar flaws will accrue to paurushya vedas and vedas are flawless and how as a puro mimamsa ka establish it by saying that they are apaurushya puro mimamsa ka has done an excellent work of establishing apaurushyatva and while saying vedakartrutvam uh, while establishing jagatkartrutvam of brahma uttar mimamsa ka seems to have taken away that apaurushyatvam established by purva puro mimamsa ka by a great effort to which siddhanti also agrees apurushya vedas are apurushya so he says you don't even know says the puro pakshi by doing this how much damage you are doing to the establishment of apurushyatvam you are taking away that and therefore purushyatvam will accrue to vedas siddhanti says no nacha vedasya sakartrukatve just because vedas have been manifest in one kalpa purushyatvam syad iti na sampratam you cannot say that the conclusion is that vedas are paurushya they are not why tasya upalabhya rachitatva anangikarat we don't accept upalabhya rachitatva so very uh, you know uh, peculiar samasa here this appears to upalabhya appears to be uh, a lebanta pada so lebanta avya is used there uh, and rachita rachitatva so tasya tasya upalabhya rachitatva anangikarat this the ishwara is doing veda rachana so veda rachita veda is rachita but it is not upalabhya rachita upalabhya see vedasya sakartrutvatve vedasya paurushyatvam syat iti na sampratam so tasya kasya tasya vedasya vedasya upalabhya rachitatvam nasti na angi kriyate we do not accept that vedas are rachita by after you know after its upalabdhi so what this means is upalabdhyanantaram rachitatvam after upalabdhi after getting the vedas from samadar pramana then or vedas content of vedas from samadar pramana ishwara did rachana that is not is what is meant that will become paurushya ishwara gathered the way it was earlier and reproduce it in the same manner so it is not we don't say that ishwara is the karta in the sense that he he came to know about vedas through samadar pramana and then created it so paurushya grantha or paurushya produces what samadar means are involved through which so for example here because it is dealing with shabda any paurushya work text grantha is suspected to have flaws because it is gathered by the author by various other pramanas here ishwara has not gathered any of this with the, any of the veda content through any other pramana it is only by shabda that he has his it was there in his maya antakarana maya roop antakarana and he reproduced it in the same manner the way it was there in the earlier kalpa he is gathered it how has he gathered it because he is sarvajna he was did not become sarvajna by knowing vedas he was ever sarvajna he is ever sarvajna he will ever be sarvajna 
Sarvajna is not, Sarvajnyatvam is not born in time. It has ever been there in his mind before the prapancha was resolved. So he has to recollect how it was and he has to recreate it based on the samashti prarabdha rife for fructification. Similarly, how to create the prapancha is also there in the Vedas. That Veda, jnana, Veda is what? Vida Jnane. Veda is perhaps a Ganyantapada with Vididhatu. So Vida, Vida, Vida Jnane. It, it has jnana meaning that jnana being chaitanya surupa that jnana is ever with him it is an ananta jnana it is ananta jnana not a it is ananta jnana that ananta jnana is his own swarupa and then he manifests it using tools at his disposal which are also his own he he himself appears in this form of prapancha which is the siddhanta really but then vedas are the manifestation of that jnana which he is his own sarupa. And therefore we are not talking about that kind of purush, paurushayatum that you think that will result if you say that Vedas are having a karta. That is not the kind of karta who has gathered from other means of knowledge the knowledge of Vedas. He has the knowledge on his own, he has not gathered it by any other pramana. Iti prathama varnakam. The second varnaka we will see in the next part huh? as to the bahuri interpretation of shastra, uh, shastra se yoni, uh, shastra yoni twat. There we will see bahuri as shastram yonihi yasya. So shastram yonihi, yoni there is not karana, it is karana but it is hetu. We will see what is the difference between that yoni meaning in the uh, second interpretation here it is karana there it will be taken as hetu hetu is also karana but uh, it is karana for jnana it is jnana hetu jnana hetu karanatum in the second interpretation of yoni and thereby bahuri so shastram yoni hi jnana hetu yasya brahmana so brahma can be known only through shastras and therefore shastra yoni tum tasma shastra yoni we will see more in the next part huh? आमनायांते के समुचित्तम् आदि मध्यांतवर्जितम् आनंदघनम् आपूर्णम् आत्मेद्योतिरुपासमहि। Any questions? No. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah.